I'll show you how you can create a dark and catchy reggaeton melody. What's up and welcome to another video and today we're gonna create a reggaeton beat which is inspired by Tiny and Bad Bunny. So I hope you enjoy it. So first let's adjust the BPM to 89. And first let's start off with some simple keys. So I'm gonna use Analog Lab 5. So let's use this the Butterfly Effect Keys preset. And I'm gonna create this beat in A minor. So I'm selecting Options, View, Scale Highlighting and then I'm selecting a minor and then natural. So right now I'm starting off with a simple chord. So I'm just using this A, C and E. So right now just copy this chord progression again, control B. I'm gonna lower it down five semitones. Almost always goes perfect. So one, two, three, four and five. Then just copy this chord progression again. And I'm gonna pick a note in between. So one note up and we're gonna have a listen. and half. So let's use this one again. Put it at the end. And maybe one note up like this. So by first just building the chord progression it's pretty easy to add more elements. So right now we're going to add a bass line. And for the bass line I'm going to use Serum. I'm gonna pick a preset from my new bass preset spec, Serum Bass 2, which is a pretty awesome preset. And then I'm just starting off with the root note, which is A. Do it this way, like this. As you can hear, both go perfect together. And right now I want to add a vocal sample, so I'm gonna use Arcade. And I'm gonna pick a sample from Hooked, which is an awesome bank. And let's just use this one. Very important to adjust the key. So I'm adjusting it to minor and then select A, like this. Let's use this one. And then just play around. Use this one. Perfect. And of course, later on, I'm gonna add some more reverb. So right now, I'm gonna pick another preset from Analog Lab. So I was searching for a harp. And this one sounds crazy, something which Tiny could use in one of his beats. So let's create a melody from scratch. So we're gonna copy this whole chord progression and paste it into the harp. Let's remove this one. So shorten the notes. That sounds crazy, so I'll copy it again. Sounds like a pretty simple harp, so. Sure on these notes. Let's see what I'm gonna do right here. So right now it has to sound very logic. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use this B. And then just maybe follow the original chord. Pretty awesome sample. So now I'm going to record the focus sample from Arcade. I'm going to drag it into the arrangement. This one could be disabled. And maybe patch it up 12 semitones. So right now it sounds like trash. Let's remove some of the high frequencies. Something like that. And then I'm going to add a shit ton of reverb. So I'm also linking the other elements to the mixer. So right now I've added some effects to the beautiful harp preset. So I've added this retro color vinyl 3 preset and disabled the noise. Then I've added this OTT compressor to really push it to the front. Then I've added this Saturn 2 to add some saturation to the sound. 
I think it's something which Tiny uses in a lot of his beats, or it sounds like this. Also added some more reverb to add some more ambience to the melody. So I recently got the collection 9 from Atoria. And I'm gonna pick a random synth. So let's use this one. Looks like a vintage synthesizer. And then let's scroll through the preset. So I found this Endless Flight preset. And right now let's try in the notes. So just follow the original progression. So right now I'm gonna add the drums and I'm gonna add two drums. In reggaeton it could be very simple if you use perfect sounds. So right now I'm creating a new sample pack, a reggaeton producer kit. Let's use this one, which is one of my favorites. And right now pick a snare, pick snare 49. And in reggaeton most of the times I'm just following a one to one rhythm. So it's just very simple like this. And right now let's draw in the second rhythm. So right now maybe this is a little bit too empty, so I'm gonna add a typical reggaeton second drum. So place one in front of this one, and then just lower down the volume. And then just repeat. And then create the full loop. So that's it. And the final thing which I'm going to add is a bass line. And a perfect bass when it comes to reggaeton is a bass from the Mini V3. This one contains pretty awesome bass presets which are perfect when it comes to reggaeton. So I'm going to use the preset a bass you will use. Just this one. So I'll adjust it to 80 hertz. So this is when I played in C. Sounds perfect. So I'm going to start off at the root note. Pick 3, 4 of a step, and then just follow the root notes. This to C, this to G, and for example, let's use this A, and it's simple because we've already used it before, always sounds good, and let's use a B. So the transition of the end of the bass notes go perfect together with the first note. So now I'm gonna create a simple arrange for you guys and show you the final result. And I've created this one just to show you how you could arrange the beat using the elements we've already created. So I've not added any transition effects, but I've just kept it very simple. So right now we're gonna have a listen. So first, I'm just using the harp as an intro, which already sounds full and awesome. Vocal sample coming in in the bass line. make some adjustments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm also looking forward to releasing my new reggaeton sample pack. So I'll be working on it for a few weeks and then release it. I hope you guys are excited for this one. So I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials.